All right, so this time we're going to talk about uh, some strategies for working with trig identities. And strategy number one is uh, to take things that are not sine and cosine and rewrite them using cosine. And so the big four things uh, for this strategy are knowing these definitions. So tangent is sine over cosine, cotangent is cosine over sine, secant is 1 over cosine, cosecant 1 over sine. And we've seen these a lot, but if, if you don't know these, you definitely need to know these, right? So memorize these. You need to know them. Um, make flashcards or something. If, you, if you're getting these wrong, it's going to be very hard to, to work with the identities. And so here's example one uh, for your note sheet. Um, so the instructions on these problems will typically say verify. And so what that means is the they're claiming that this is true, and they just want you to verify that it's true. So it's almost like there's a little question mark over here. Um, and um, we want to just verify that it's true. So these problems are all about showing the work and, and showing the work clearly and step by step that shows why this side is really equal to this side. And so our strategy is simply to uh, rewrite things in terms of sine and cosine. And so secant is 1 over cosine of x. Cotangent is cosine of x over sine of x. So I'm just working on this left-hand side here. Now we have to do a little bit of algebra. And the algebra for this one is to cancel out things that are on the top and bottom, right? It's just like reducing a fraction. Basically, cosine of x over cosine of x is a giant 1. And so I can cross both of those off. And so I get 1 on the top is all that's left. And sine of x is all that's left on the bottom. And what's 1 over sine of x? Well, cosecant of x. And so sure enough, I have proven that the left-hand side is equal to cosecant of x, which is what the right-hand side was. So I'm OK, right? So I just put a little note to indicate that I'm done. Uh, I have verified it, right? I took the left-hand side, switched to sine and cosine, and saw that the left-hand side is really equal to the right-hand side. So this is an example where this is not a super complicated expression, but it's fairly complicated. And we can simplify it a little bit. It's a lot easier to work with plain old cosecant as opposed to secant times cotangent. So we have verified a trig identity.